Hi, brothers and sisters. This is Fire, and I am back with another video. All praises to the Most High Yah. Okay, so I am here today to speak to you all about witches and some of the characteristics of witches and how they operate. Okay, so uh, and not just witches, witches and warlocks, okay? A witch is simply the woman version. The warlock is simply the man version. And they both operate in the dark arts of darkness, of witchcraft, of evil, okay? So what they do is they use manipul manipulation to get what they want, okay? They use manipulation to get what they want, They try to control the will of others, okay? Um, you know, a lot of times, for an example, a witch or a warlock, let's use a witch for an example, um, she may want a particular man. And so she may go and concoct some spells up and things of that sort to cast a spell over that man. And if he's not covered by the blood of Jesus, it can work to make that man fall for her, for make that man head over heels for her. Okay? So that's an example. And vice versa, the warlock can do the same thing concerning a woman. They try to use emotional manipulation against you. Like, Crying crocodile crocodile tears, you know, um, you know, just stuff like fake crying to get to your emotions. Lying. They do a lot of lying. Um, they could lie on uh, uh, about something regarding themselves. They can lie about a situation or they can lie on another. Okay, lying, they use that a lot. They do that a lot. Okay, um, they will also do smear campaigns against you or against an individual. Um, simply going behind someone's back and telling several people a particular lie about this particular person and getting a, 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 um, several people to not like a certain individual, okay? And that's a shame because we're all adults. I mean, that's something children do. Um, you should never just believe automatically what someone has told you about another without getting to know them first, okay? They use makeup. Usually it's the women who do this. Um, but a man could do it too. Um, they use makeup to lure men in. See, the makeup was um, taught to us by the fallen angels, okay? Um, that is in the book of Enoch, okay? And so what they do, have you ever seen someone um, who puts on makeup and they look totally different than the true them without the makeup, okay? Like, Total, they can switch their self up to look like a totally different person. That is the art of witchcraft. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that wearing makeup is wrong. I'm saying this is one of the tactics that a witch uses is makeup. And it's usually to try to lure a man in. Okay. I know. Women wear makeup, and I'm not saying that you're a witch. I'm saying that their witches do that. They use makeup, okay? So I'm not calling, <laughs> don't get it wrong. I'm not calling all women a witch. I'm just saying that is a tactic that witches use, is makeup. And it was taught by the fallen angels. Exodus 22, verse 18 states, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. I'm going to say that again. 
Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. That tells you how bad a witch is. So I'm simply doing this video to um, enlighten my brothers and sisters of, like I said, some of the characteristics and uh, some of the things that witches do so that you will be able to spot them out. Okay. Um, they will use levels of manipulation um, as far as going to your so social media. Okay. Um, trying to get your pictures and things of that sort. Because I had some notes here that I've not seen. Okay. <laughs> there you go right there. All right. All right. So, um, yeah, they will go to your social media. Okay. And they will try to get your pictures off of your social media and, and perform spells on you. But a lot of spells that they perform, they will have to get you to come into agreement with them with those spells. OK, so um, beware of people that will try to ask you for your pictures. Also, another um, form of agreement with a witch or a warlock is a handshake. Mm -hmm. Seems simple, right? But when you do a handshake, that's an agreement and that can be used against you in witchcraft. Um, also, just a simple yes. If they ask you something, um, you know, and you say yes, that is an agreement with a witch or a warlock. If they are a witch or, or a warlock, um, of course. And if you come into agreement with these witches and warlocks, um, if you are not covered by the blood of Yahshua, um, those spells can work against you. Okay. So that's all I have to say today. Um, the witch and the warlock thing goes deep. I just touched the surface of that thing. But that right there is enough to bless somebody. So just beware of these witches out here. Because believe me, you not, it's a lot of witches. Uh, since the Lord has been waking me up on this witchcraft thing over the last few years, you will be surprised. It's almost everywhere I go, I see a witch. Out and out, just when I jump in my car and go somewhere or when I get online, it's witches everywhere. I'm telling you, everywhere, young, old, <laughs> you name it. And another thing uh, witches and warlocks do, um, they, use, they like to use crystals. They like to use those crystals. So beware of that. I'm not saying everyone who has a crystal is a witch or a warlock, but that's what witches and warlocks use. They use crystals. Okay, so my brothers and my sisters, beware. I'm doing this all out of love, of course. So until next time, may love, peace, and blessings be upon you. This is fire. And salute to all the soldiers and the warriors out there standing strong and firm in the Lord.